So, channel 1 is working, or at least it was. There we are, channel 1. And channel 2, if I could just get it on there. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Okay, and welcome to another episode of, well, you know what it is. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to be building a very simple audio mixer. And I don't know why I said it like that. So, here's the thing. My main computer has more than one audio output, as you can probably tell. Now, I use the main audio output for, you know, watching YouTube, playing video games, all that kind of stuff. And it has this really handy feature called volume normalization. And that way I don't have to continuously reach for the volume control. However, there are cases when I don't want to use volume normalization. So, when I'm making music and doing audio editing, I obviously want that off. So, what I've done is I've set those specific programs to use the USB audio. Now, although that one also has a volume normalization, I have turned that off. So, I've got one audio output here which does have normalization, and one here that does not. So, depending on what I'm doing, it'll come out of either this one or this one. Now, I decided that I'll use an audio mixer, and then the output of that will go into the amplifier and speakers, and also connect a tape recorder, so I can record it. Now, this piece of crap is the mixer that I've been using, and it just keeps crapping out on me. I've taken this apart numerous times, one channel just keeps going dead. It'll come in, it'll go out, it'll come in, it'll go out. You know, it's intermittent. And I've taken this apart, gone through the circuit board, fixed any traces that look dodgy, reflowed all the solder joints, nothing's worked. So, yeah, just out the window with that. Right, so this is the circuit that I've come up with. It's a two-channel audio mixer. Obviously, as I want stereo, I'm going to build two of these. This is just for one channel, you can see here. And I'm going to use the LM324 chip to build each mixer. So what we've got here is our inputs, inputs 1 and 2. And they go into a op-amp buffer for each input. That way they're not going to interfere with each other. And this is where the actual mixing takes place with these two resistors here. Then it goes into this stage, gives it a little bit of amplification, and then finally into this buffer, and out to wherever it needs to go. Now, I'm not going to bother with the input faders, I'm just going to connect it directly. But for those of you who want to build a audio mixer circuit, well, um, this is a pretty good idea. And then, yeah, you could build a three-channel mixer, or a four-channel mixer, or however many channels you want. I mean, this is a three-channel mixer circuit. So we've got our three inputs here, and the faders for each input. You might want just a little bit more amplification here. Of course, if you want to add more stages, you'll have to have more resistors here, and you'll have to have more amplification, but yeah, back to the thing that I'm going to be doing. Now, the only problem is, I want to power this on a single rail supply. So what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to build this little thing here with a couple of capacitors and a couple of resistors. So we should have half of the supply voltage right here and that is what's going to be used as the ground. So anyway, enough yap, let's try it. So anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to see how well two capacitors work as a voltage divider. Got my little thing here telling me how much voltage and current I'm putting in. So, let's just turn that on. Alright, so, we've got 12.14 volts. Although it seems to be slowly climbing. So, let's measure the voltage across both of these capacitors. See, this one first. Let's see what this one is giving us. about 6.1 volts. Right, let's see what we got across this one. So that's actually evening out the voltage pretty well, but 
I still want to put a couple of resistors across these capacitors just to make absolutely sure that the voltage across these two capacitors stays the same. Okay, so I've got a 680 ohm resistor across each capacitor now. Well, let's just measure the voltage on the capacitors now. Okay, we've got about 6.05 on that one, and on this one, we should also have 6.05. Well, it's close enough. Right then, well, I guess it's time to build the rest of the circuit. Alright, so it's all built, so let's test this thing. So, on the red wire here, we've got our audio signal, and that's going to go into the chip. And then we're going to measure what's coming out of the chip on the oscilloscope. So, first of all, I'm just going to test that all four channels are working. So, I haven't actually linked any of the op amps together yet. We're just testing what's going to come out of them, so... Let's test the first op-amp, make sure that's doing its thing. Uh, yep, that appears to be working. Alright, let's test the second op-amp. Let's see if that's working. And indeed it is. Alright, let's test the third op-amp. Make sure that's working. Yep, I don't know why the triggering on my scope is so funky at the moment. And now let's test the fourth op, op amp, which should give us our amplified signal. Let's see what that's doing. And oh yeah. There we go. So, we're getting about 3.3 volts out. And what are we actually putting in at the moment? About 1.2, so yeah. That's about 3.3 times amplification. Now I want about 1.5 times amplification, so when this is all connected together, it should be doing that. So here's the circuit all built. I thought I'd better zoom in on the chip so you can see what I'm actually doing. So, scoping the output, and now I'm going to take my signal lead here, and plug it into where input 1 is going to be, which is right here. Let's see what we get. Okay. We're getting the signal out there, it's about 1.6 volts. Alright, let's see if the other side is working. And indeed it is what we're getting out there, about one point... Yeah, about the same. So, that's about 1.6, 1.7 volts. Well, let's see what we're actually putting into this circuit. I'm just going to connect these two together. That's about 1.2 volts. So yeah, I'd say we've got roughly about 1.6 times amplification, and that's absolutely fine. That's uh, pretty much in the ballpark of where I want. So now I know the circuit works, I'm going to build up the whole thing. I've built the circuit. So i got a voltage splitter, divider, whatever you want to call it, and two mixer circuits, so we've got one for the left channel, one for the right channel. So. It's time to wire this up and see if it works. It's time to test this thing. I thought I'd better put in the input and output capacitors as well. We'll turn this on. Make sure it's not drawing an abnormally large amount of current, which it isn't. That's good. Okay, so like before, I have my sine wave coming through onto this wire here. So, um, yeah, we're going to test this channel here and see if it works. This will be either the left or the right channel, I haven't made up my mind yet. Let's see, have we got anything there? Yep, we've got the signal going through. So it's passing the signal there. We'll pass the signal on this input. And yeah. Okay, now it's looking good. So I guess it's time to test the other side. Right. 
So that will now be these inputs here. Alright, so let's see if this side is passing a signal. And... No, nothing. Apart from the cat you can hear in the background. Is this side working? No, that's not working. Let me just connect up the scope to the other one again, make sure that I haven't done something stupid. Let's just test this side again. Yeah, that's working. But the other side is not. I think I have found the problem. This thing right here looks like a solid connection, but it is not. I went through everything with the meter, and why am I still talking in that weird way? Yeah, I went through all the connections with the meter and um, this bit here. Uh, it looks like it's a solid connection, but it's apparently not. So, let's fix that little thing. And now you'll get to see my expert soldering skills. As I just reflow this connection here. Yeah, I think that's a solid enough connection. Let's just make sure I haven't made a solder bridge, which is something that always happens when I do my cut. Um, so, I poured my brains out trying to fix the problem. And now, success is done. So, channel 1 is working. Or at least it was. There we are, channel 1. And channel 2, if I could just get it on there. Well, here it is, everybody. The completed simple audio mixer. Got a bunch of jacks on this side. And of course, the circuit itself with my terrible soldering on that side and the chips and everything on that side. And somewhere where I can plug it in. And this is the final schematic. So we have the mixer itself. Obviously there's two of these circuits for stereo. And this of course is the circuit that splits the power from the power supply. So we have a positive, a ground, and a negative. Well, here it is, all wired up. Now I am going to do it a little bit neater than this. This is just for testing purposes. But I have to say, it's working great, and it sounds great. So, everything's working. This is the input from the onboard audio. This is the, well, output from the onboard audio, rather. This is the output from the USB device. And this is the output to the amplifier. Um, I'll say that again. Right. Well, here it is. Wired up. Now, I'm not going to leave it like this. This is just for testing purposes. But I have to say, I've tested this, and it's working great. It works great, and it sounds great. So, this is from the onboard audio. This is from the USB device. This one goes out to the amplifier, and this one goes out to the tape recorder. So where am I going to take this next? Well, you know, I might put this in some kind of box or something. You know, so I got base of a box here, and uh, there's a you know, amplifier there, and a mixer there with all its connections, and maybe some kind of power supply somewhere. Like so, and of course, I've kind of messed up already with this, but yeah, you know, Something along the lines of that, with the volume control of the amplifier sticking out, and I've just realised that this pen is leaking over everything. But yeah, anyway, my camera battery is just about spent now, so until next time, goodbye.
Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to see how well this is a good impression of the way I used to talk in my old YouTube videos because for some reason in my old YouTube videos I always talk like this I really don't know why and um and um 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 right then well I guess it's time to build the rest of the circuit it's time to build the rest of the circuit <clears throat>